So, uh, ministers, excellencies, it's really a great pleasure to welcome all of you here. Uh, we highly value the partnership with uh, 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 the Indo-Pacific partners of, uh, of, uh, of NATO, uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, South Korea and Japan. And um, uh, uh, in a more dangerous and unpredictable world, it is even more obvious that security is not uh, uh, regional security is global. What happens in your region, what happens in the Indo-Pacific matters for Europe, and what happens in Europe matters uh, for, for, for you. And I think uh, the war in Ukraine demonstrates this very clearly with its global ramifications. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, the fact that we also see that uh, China and Russia are standing closer uh, together makes it just even more important that we are uh, uh, standing together as partners, uh, NATO allies, and, uh, and you as uh, four highly valued uh, partners. Uh, so I, I, I welcome this opportunity to meet with you. Uh, I also welcome the fact that uh, last year was the first time ever uh, uh, the heads of state and government uh, from your countries participated in the NATO summit. And, uh, and uh, uh, they are all invited again f uh, to the uh, summit in Vilnius uh, in July uh, this year. Uh, and, uh, and that will further strengthen our partnership uh, and, uh, and the way we can work together. So, uh, so I look forward to our meeting now, and then I look forward to you participating in the meeting with all the uh, now 31 ministers, uh, because uh, yesterday we went from 30 to 31 allies. And then uh, soon also Sweden will join, and then we are uh, 32. Mm. So again, welcome. It's a great honor and pleasure to meet with you, and um, and uh, then we can continue. Thank you.